we go. What a day. Breaking just moments ago, U.S. economy shrinking for the second straight quarter. That means the recession is well underway. As we say good morning, I'm Bill Hemmer. A ton to get to today, so we waste no time. How we you will doing? waste no time at all. I'm Dana Perino. This is America's Newsroom, and this is exactly what the Biden administration anticipated yes. would happen. They tried to get in front of it with messaging, but the numbers are the numbers. The Commerce Department announcing GDP shrank. It's happening, and most people won't believe it. Hey, what is up YouTube? Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We have so much news to cover. We are discussing things that are happening in this country and very importantly, things that are going to affect millions of people and you know what they're asking for? Stimulus checks and we have all that information in this video, we have some exciting information about Social Security that you might want to stick around for, so let's dive in. So one of the biggest fears of the American people is that we would fall into a recession. Some people like Elon Musk say we are there now and others say we are not. But given the data that has been pulled from Wall Street, it looks like we're heading in that direction if we're not there already. It doesn't seem to look like what happened in 2008. It feels different, it looks different, so if indeed we were to fall into a recession, what would that look like? I know for many of you the question would be, who would be impacted the most? Who is actually going to take the biggest hit? Because a recession is not a good thing and I know that it affects millions of people, but it doesn't seem to be the people at the very top. It seems to be the other 95% at the bottom. But because you and I need to know what's happening, I've added a video here that has all that information that's going to tell you exactly what we need to know about a recession that is going on in this country. So let's take a watch. Here we go. What a day. Breaking just moments ago, U.S. economy shrinking for the second straight quarter. That means the recession is well underway. As we say good morning, I'm Bill Hemmer. A ton to get to today, so we waste no time. How we you will doing? waste no time at all. I'm Dana Perino. This is America's Newsroom, and this is exactly what the Biden administration anticipated yes. would happen. They tried to get in front of it with messaging, but the numbers are the numbers. The Commerce Department announcing GDP shrank by 0.9%, mm -hmm. and you know that is then the second consecutive quarter which means that there is and, a recession. And there's been this ongoing debate. you got to get out Merriam-Webster's dictionary. Uh, okay, so we're going to define recession for you. Here's the bottom line. The Biden economy is shrinking as the Fed unleashes rapid-fire rate hikes to try and stave off the highest inflation we've seen in more than 40 years. Let's get right to it. Maria Bartiromo joins us now. Maria, good morning to you. Go ahead and give us the news because they projected 0.5% on the positive side. The number was a negative 0.9. We missed it by a point and a half, right? Yes, that's right. Good morning to you both. We are now in recession. So guys, what do you think about that video? Is it true that yes, the United States is in a recession? They seem to think so and they see the data and the numbers and say, yes, we are. But let us know down in the comments below what you think. So can you believe that President Biden has approved to start building the wall again? For those that live in Arizona, you can get ready because the wall process is starting to begin. Yes, President Biden approved building the wall back and even though it was called the Trump wall, maybe now it should be called the Biden wall. Let us know down in the comments below. You know, I'm still shocked over that and I know some of you out there must be too. You know, I'm really down for the Biden wall just because they they, you know, they told Trump he was such a bad guy for it. They named it after him. But let us know down in the comments below. So here is some very interesting news that really kind of doesn't make sense. Well, Nancy Pelosi is on her way to Asia and China is trying to tell her and make sure that she understands that this is something that she doesn't need to do. In fact, look at this article that has got me blown away on things that could happen. Propagandist warns China could down Nancy Pelosi's plane during the Taiwan trip. The Chinese government said that the Beijing could shoot down the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's plane if accompanied by a U.S. military aircraft. And the president of China is warning Biden not to play with fire 
over Taiwan. Now, for just a second, if I heard anything about getting shot down because I was in an airplane going to a place, I wouldn't be very smart to get on that airplane, let alone Biden here. This image shows him on the phone kind of talking it over so him and nancy pelosi are going at it because i don't know why she's going there why does she need to go there i understand that they make trips to out of country during this time i understand that they try to make sure they have their meetings but do it over zoom don't take a chance on getting shot down because you're going to a place that china's like dude if you go and you've got anything with u.s military in it you're gonna get shot down but guys let us know down in the comments below what you think about that so it took a while but now senator joe manchin is on the democrat side pushing a bill that he said would help tackle inflation many have suggested that it would raise it but he says that it would actually lower inflation this article tells us that manchin declines to say if he'd back biden in 2024 hopeful cinema okays def deficit and climate deal so in order for them to pass this huge bill, they're needing every Democrat on the team to be on board. It's never happened. There's always been someone to kind of knock it down, and that's been Joe Manchin, but he's hoping that they will all come together to make this bill pass, to pay off this huge amount of debt, and take care of our climate, and get other things like healthcare passed. But guys, let us know down in the comments what you think about that. But what we're doing on this channel, because because you guys are awesome we're doing a 250 dollar giveaway for two lucky subscribers and all that information to jump in on that is down below we're also giving away a 100 dollar visa gift card and all you have to do is smash that like button and comment the word visa gift card for your chance to win now guys i know that you and joe manchin has been the guy that's come against biden you could say that he was the thorn in the flesh but here's a video from joe manchin exactly explaining why he is pushing this bill and why he hopes that it will pass let's take a watch in biden's domestic agenda after 18 months of tense negotiations backroom dealing, and more than a little name-calling, Joe Manchin, the most conservative Democrat in the Senate from deep red West Virginia, and often a thorn in the side of his party, agreed to a far-reaching deal that would represent the most ambitious plan to combat climate change that the U.S. has ever undertaken. That is, if it becomes law. With Republicans uniformly opposed, Democrats will need to stay totally united in the coming weeks to pass the bill, and that is far from guaranteed. Joining us now is the architect of the bill, Senator Joe Manchin. Senator Manchin, thank you for joining us. So what's the bottom line? Do you have everybody on board, including Senator Sinema, who of course was not part of this negotiation and has opposed at least one key tax provision in this bill? Well, John, let me just say that this is all about fighting inflation. That's what it's about. Inflation is just absolutely destroying families across West Virginia and across America. High price of gasoline just to go to work, high price of food just to maintain your, uh, sustain yourself during the day and, and every day for your family, and then the high cost of energy and any and everything else you want to do in life is taking a tremendous toll. That's what this is about. And this is, a, and this is an Inflation Reduction Act. We're investing. We're not spending money. We're investing. We've taken a $3.5 trillion uh, aspirational bill uh, that I never could come to an agreement on any way, shape, or form, but I tried, couldn't get there. And we've taken $3.5 trillion of spending down to $400 billion of investing without raising any taxes whatsoever. We've closed some loopholes, didn't raise any taxes, John. But is Senator Sinema on board? She opposed one of those loopholes you closed, the carried interest loophole. Is, is she going to Well, let me this? just say this. Senator Sinema is, my, is, is my, my dear friend. I have all the respect for her. She's extremely bright and works very, very hard. She has an awful lot in this piece of legislation, the way it's been designed, as far as the reduction of Medicare, letting Medicare go ahead and negotiate for lower drug prices. She's very involved in that, and I appreciate that. Also, basically, when you, she said uh, taxes, we're not going to raise taxes. I agree with that. And I made sure we scrubbed this. There was not a tax increase. What they're talking about, John, the tax rate used to be at 35% in 2017, the corporate tax rate. It went to 21, 14% reduction. 
I was un, un, unbeknownst to me that there are people not paying any taxes whatsoever. These are the largest corporations in America of a billion dollars of value or greater. And we just said it should be a floor of a 15% minimum. I, I think that everybody in West Virginia, most people in America that have corporations and pay their taxes, believe that everyone would be paying at least 21. So we made sure that we did not raise taxes. We closed loopholes. As for this inflation question, you had opposed uh, build back better, the, the, the full bill, and, and even some scaled back versions saying that it would increase inflation. And we have uh, a, an estimate out here uh, from Wharton's budget model. This is the UPenn Wharton budget model that says that this bill actually would, they say very slightly, but would increase inflation over the course of the next year and a half. <clears throat> well, we had 17 economists, Nobel laureate economists, say that the, uh, a year ago almost said that the inflation would be transitory and wouldn't last, it would just go away. Listening to this video, watching it, seeing Joe Manchin has changed my perspective on who he really is just because, you know what? It, it, he seems like his heart's in the right spot. He is trying to help America and he doesn't just want to make things worse. So guess what? I hope this thing works out because America needs help. Now guys, here is an article that maybe you've asked, I've asked, Will we ever see stimulus checks again? Well, guys, I've got some updated information on states that are in the mix of proposing a stimulus check for their residents. Now, I'm not going to tell you the other states because I've done several videos on those, and if you want to check those out, you can go watch that. But on the screen, I want to show you the states that are actually trying to get something going. They haven't done it yet. They don't have a date yet, but they're trying to propose some sort of stimulus. Let's look at the screen. These states have plans in the works. According to Forbes, the following states are considering proposals that if passed would provide targeted stimulus in one form or another. California, the $1,050, but they're still in the works. Kansas, that's not been on the list, but they have something in the works. Kentucky, many people have asked about Kentucky. They're actually working on a proposal right now. Same thing with North Carolina. Pennsylvania, they started with $2,000 given to the residents. Now they're down to around $650. And last but not least, Virginia. These states have proposed things and getting them in the works, but nothing has been set in stone. So yet again, guys, the way, the dilemma, the having to hope and cross your fingers that they do something is still there. I hope that they get things moving soon for states like Louisiana, for Texas. Guys, Michigan, you guys need help and people understand that. Congress knows that. So I hope that they push and I hope that these states push to get you guys a stimulus check. But guys, that's all the information we have for you today. I hope that it helped, and if you liked it, go ahead and smash that like button. But thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget about all the giveaways we're doing on this channel. And guys, if there's anything you need from me concerning information on stimulus, social security, then let me know down in the comments and I'll do my research to make sure I get you the answer. Guys, have a great day. Until next time, I'm John Miro. Peace.